Good morning, Tower. With some delay, we will now launch into this. We will now launch into, sorry, um, the collaborative repository of meta information, both by Filippo and Raphael. There you go, then. Hello, everybody. And <laughs> I'm sorry for the early hour, but that's it. So what, what is this about? Um, the problem is that in Debian, we have so many meta information attached to a package and we just cope, co don't cope with it. Like uh, upstream, URL, and how to get new version. So I'm talking about watch files and other things like localized files and every kind of, impo of information that we don't provide with, along with the package. So that's meta information about the package. So we need a repository which uh, has to be also collaborative so everyone can be part of it and uh, of meta information which is about what, what I, I just said. So um, this is much like a both. So if as anyone any idea of how to, to do that uh, I, and wants to share with us Please welcome. Raise your hand on, or make some sound. And <laughs> so, um, the I think there are some points to to clarify about about this project. So, do, do you want to to clarify some something? I can at least try to explain a bit better what you what we want to reach with that project. Uh, basically, for the package tracking system, I would like to integrate more information about each program, about each source package, like uh, where the upstream source is located, where if there is uh, an upstream uh, CVS or SVN repository, uh, and many, many information like that. It could uh, also be extended one day for to host uh, maybe a screenshot of programs or uh, in fact, the, the kind of information that we want to store is unlimited. <laughs> we would like to try uh, to start with the watch file because uh, we always want to check if we are uh, if we have all the latest version. But not all maintainers are creating them. But there are people who would like to to uh, create them for the maintainers then maintainers don't want to integrate them. So the idea was to have them hosted somewhere external where everybody could just submit what file, get them even maybe reviewed and uh, then used. Uh, so basically, uh, it started with this idea. Uh, right now, we may have a summer of code project to get this project rel uh, rolling. Uh, but so the plan for today was to get some maybe basic design or good ideas on how to do it right and stuff like that. Uh, what is interesting, in my opinion, is uh, to build a kind of wiki-like system. That means anybody uh, could just go on a website, check the latest meta information and update them if they're outdated. Of course, it wouldn't uh, have to keep uh, an history of the latest values so that if someone puts junk in it, we can just roll back. Uh, the change should go, should be sent to the package tracking system so that people inter uh, interested in that package could re review what has been changed and stuff like that. Uh, oh, mm, I don't know if I yeah. Does the uh, the idea make sense for uh, everybody? Do you see with what we want to achieve? Okay, that's going to be a pretty active booth. <laughs> uh, yeah, take take a mic. Uh, more data that we can think of already to add there. Uh, so you mentioned upstream version control system. And um, screenshot, okay. Desktop file, dot desktop files extracted from uh, dev packages. 
and uh, that takes information as well, but although that, that is already pretty much available in the packages file somehow, but well, that's metadata as well. Yeah, other kind of metadata is those that we already have, uh, like statistics about the <laughs> number of bugs, about the popcorn, yeah. Can you write quick enough? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the idea is to provide what is not already provided, but uh, there could be some links. For example, in the description, we have uh, a home page field usually, and this would certainly need to be extracted to be integrated here. So uh, we have some meta information which do not exist yet, which we will provide, which user or will provide. Uh, there are meta information that will be provide, provided by script and not by humans because they will be automatically gathered. And there will be some where both will be done at the same time. In this case for the home page, we will just get the initial values from the control file when possible and ask people to to fill in when when stuff is lacking. Yeah. Have you had other ideas of interesting stuff to store in that database? User ratings, User ratings yeah, why not? Reviews of? Uh, reviews of the package, like uh, yeah. user opinions. It sucks, it doesn't suck. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I heard also yes. the idea to extract information from fresh meat and integrate it back, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know wha what is stored in the fresh meat database, but there's pretty much similar information, like, uh, uh, yeah if a bug tracker is available, if uh, and see stuff like that. Uh, um, yeah, other ideas? The upstream bug tracker. Upstream bug tracker, yeah, of course. That was part of the basic one, but it should be written. I want to show you uh, the, the description of the Summer of Code project, but we have no net, so I can't grab it back. <laughs> upstream mailing lists. Uh. Yeah. yeah, everything that is upstream related, mailing list, user support forum. Uh, yeah, ma in the features, what would be maybe interesting uh, is uh, if some kind of uh, localization support. For example, uh, let's say we want to have a uh, user support mailing list field. Uh, the, of course, we, it would be interesting to have the, that field from French, uh, Germany. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, that's the kind of features uh, that is interesting. Can you might maybe write it down? Uh, yeah. l possible localization of fields or something. In that idea. Um, well, okay. So, um, the at, at least my idea was to have a source and binary packages, which as ev every package has some kind of attributes, which we define, but they have to be extensible, so we so we can add uh, attributes later to to packages. And okay, this is a matter of implementation. Um, but I would like to to hear some ideas about about that. 
Yeah, the the ideas behind the project are floating around for a few few months already. Uh, we'd like to, uh, to have some feedback on how you think it, we should implement it, uh, because it's going to be rather large. Uh, everything that is a database about all our package is always large, and uh, in particular, if you want to store uh, historical information, it can grow up quickly. And uh, if you have ideas or uh, of how to store it, uh, I gladly hear them. My first idea was to have something, uh, a pool tree, like we used to store for, what is it? A pool tree with uh, one directory per source package and uh, then a control file like syntax for basic fields and maybe a s dedicated files for stuff which are more advanced, like uh, screenshot. <laughs> this is how we go out with the file for the permission. Okay. Around, yeah, but the speakers, <laughs> they are there. <laughs> so give me forwards, backwards, I move like you. <laughs> That's why I'm going here, but <laughs> then it doesn't work. <laughs> Maybe just uh, uh, reduce the volume of the mic, I don't know. Do you hear me here? Um, yeah, so, so if you have ideas about uh, how to store that efficiently and to grab it. I have no luck. Does it work better on this side? <laughs> okay. So I'm listening, yeah? Um, one thing I notice is some of this information can be automatically collected and are basically read only for the public, like, um, uh, like desktop files. Um, some of this information are to be edited by a restricted number of people, like I could think watch files. Some of this information are like um, wiki-like things, like the ratings and uh, screenshots. So for what concerns the user screenshots, it sounds like we just need some convention in the wiki. Like, um, if, like just tell people how to name a wiki page about a Debian package. And probably we don't need any other storage thing. More interesting is how to make available like the rest of things and uh, what are the uses that we're going to do with it. Like desktop files need to be installable because they would be used by um, updater, uh, uh, installer software to add uh, software to the menus like uh, we have in the Ubuntu installer and uh, we're starting to have similar functionality for Debian. Um, screenshots could be installable as well. Uh, I had in my mind the idea of making um, uh, installed games browser uh, which uses DepTex information to, to find what kind of games you have installed and also shows screenshots. So that could be done fancy, quite fancy and provide a really nice front end for running games in the local machine. Um, so those should be installable. Um, DepTex is kind of a known problem in this case. Um, watch files may or may not need to be installable as well as upstream URLs. Um, although one could automatically, I don't know, put that in the packages, I don't know how. It would, it would be nice to have that information kind of standardized in user share doc, but you can't like edit a dev file after it's been signed. So, yeah, I mean, that information's got different uses, so I guess that kind of influences the kind of implementation you're going to do. Yeah, maybe, uh, Philippe, we should just write uh, uh, a, a list of uses of the information, uh, because uh, I, I mentioned the package tracking system as uh, yeah, my first uh, wish, because uh, I'm the maintainer of that. But uh, yeah, we, we certainly have to provide the information in several forms. Uh, like people may want to have uh, a single 
meta information, but for all packages. And some other might want to have a, a look at all the available meta information for one package only. So we should provide both quite efficiently if possible. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm not sure about uh, using the a real wiki directly. I mean, I, I wanted to reuse the principle, but not necessarily the existing tool. I don't know exactly. Um, because uh, when I speak of wiki like stuff, I, I would like to have more control over the syntax or of the stuff that are uh, provided. And I'm not sure that we can do that with a wiki, a usual wiki. Uh, yeah. I think that for most information that's from users, you will have to do some review. And uh, we know from DevTax, there is a public editor for DevTax data. And the biggest problem of all is not getting some data from users. The biggest problem is uh, reviewing it. <coughs> the bottleneck is uh, the single person here who reviews it. <laughs> and uh, there are like no tools for that and I think without the tool we just won't make it. So uh, even if it's in wiki, that should be in my opinion fine. If we can extract the diff from current reviewed data, current, diff, uh, current wiki data and someone can say these lines are okay, approve, click one button and it's, everything is done. Uh, which is probably yeah I don't know it's not and maybe on the information no. <laughs> um. no, not all information are sensitive uh, my idea with the review was mainly to mail the package tracking system so that the maintainer or, or the other people interested could just check it uh, uh, yes, but uh, as soon as you distribute this as part of distribution, like in an installer tool, it has to be reviewed, I think. Yeah. Be okay. I think okay. Yeah, it it's works working. Partly, yeah. Okay. Um, uh, f hey, just speaking. <laughs> when it works. <laughs> Okay, let, let's. Uh. Yeah, you, you told uh, that it depends on the information. For desktop file, for example, we have to review that because we don't want uh, anybody to provide wrong or non existing application to our user. <laughs> So, Filippo, are you following? It's okay. <laughs> uh, the possible uses, uh, I was, uh, I listed the PTS. Uh, he explained often, PTS, package tracking system. It's the first user, I would say. Then, then I don't know how you called your application, uh, which uses desktop file. Does it have a, Deb? De Adapted? <laughs> okay, Adept installer. <laughs> so, uh, uh, oh, it doesn't mind. <laughs> French keyboard is difficult. Uh, just mention uh, in the uh, in bracket that it's uh, about uh, using desktop files. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yo, start with desktop. Oh. Okay. Uh, Repository 
the installer should probably become a repository of applications that are uh, user oriented. So a uh, thing that has desktop file and uh, it should give like uh, all the data that the user may want not only for things to install but stuff like what I have installed and uh, review that like Enrico said for games but more general so maybe that could be merged for everything and have different views on on the applications. Could you add uh, possible uses the game launcher? Installed games launcher. As soon as we can uh, have a, an association between the package and its desktop, we can probably uh, have things like the installer also telling you uh, where in menu the application landed in your current desktop and especially like uh, run the application. So um, I'm, it may need uh, to add meta info like uh, which binary is main for the, or which desktop file is main for the package because like now we can have m multiple desktop files in one package and some of them may be not important for the user. For sure because like uh, I think the info panels in GNOME and in KD have each its own desktop file and it's all packaged in, in one uh, package and well what does that mean? I think this should be all hidden so probably um, we need some way to uh, make the desktop files like this is for user and this is not for user. It's kind of hard to to split what is for user from what is not for users though. Uh, yeah, sure. uh, you miss uh, popcorn in a few places. Uh, Meta infos provided and adapt installer. Yeah, of course. <laughs> well, developer car might not directly related to the source package, but I don't know. Uh, but yeah, stuff like bug statistics, I would like to integrate them in this central repository so that uh, the DDPO and the PTS can use the same information without doing twice the same work and, uh, pr and provide it, yeah. And then it can also be used to, to, yeah, for other program like the other program reviews or package reviews. I don't know. Yeah. So another thing that could um, could be could can be important in the way you use data is that you want to access it sometimes. For some data, you want to access them per package, like the screenshots. Some data you want to access them aggregated, like popcorn, um, I guess, or like, mm, yeah, mainly popcorn or that text. Uh, so, because uh, I was thinking like a possible startup implementation is having like a, a directory per package, and inside you have subdirectories for every kind of data you have, and you put them, you put it in like kind of row. And then people can at least know where to find stuff. Um, and then eventually you can figure out to put some index on top of things. But if you split the data per package, 
if I want to download popcorn ratings for like old packages installed or not to do rankings, uh, then I need to to down to to to, to fetch by HTTP like 19,000 files, which is not efficient. So some of the data can be aggregated as well. That's probably another distinction. Like I either provide them both aggregated and not. I guess it's small data that you want to aggregate, so it doesn't matter providing it both. Yeah, that's another distinction that could be taken care of. Uh, please add change log to the provided metadata. That's an important thing because right now there is no reliable way uh, we can get at the change log without unpacking the package, which is sort of. Uh, yeah, I think full change log because we can parse it, but uh, you never know which version is at the user system, so you usually have to show him uh, the part from his current version to the version he wants. So, and uh, there is something in packages Debian org, I think, but I don't think it works, and there is no way I can access that reliable, reliably. So, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, the um, the export format uh, thing, uh, it's uh, it's about interfaces. So um, I would like to to check out also the uh, the import interface. I mean, like users and no users uh, interact with with the with the repository. Uh, it's a traditional thing of Debian to have a mail interface, so that can be a thing, but for um, it can be tricky for, for some things. So, uh, okay. A mail interface would work for every text like attribute. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, web interface is more suited for uh, for things like, yeah, um, screenshots, for example. As for idea for implementing the information source, I think you could have a URL on, say, HTTP to some uh, CGI uh, script, which should probably have some parameters and the uh, script should be able to say, I want these fields for these packages, maybe with a regex or something to select which packages or maybe just everything and single. I am not sure which is better because uh, you usually want to cache the files that are requested often with if you if you make a lot of uh, regex requests that will probably trash the server quite a bit and maybe not even save anything so that's probably something that should be thought about but uh yeah that's that's looking fairly good uh yeah And I guess you also want to start simple. Like, I would stay out of like uh, fantastic XML DTDs to represent everything. Yeah, you suggest to make like a bag of records sort of file or what? Well, the, the RFC 822 format we use for packages file, I think. Yeah, yeah, my first idea was to use a format like that, package file or mail leader, and maybe store them in a subversion repository so that we have history automatically or something like that. Uh, I don't know if it, if it can work efficiently, but uh, I will give the mic to Jeroen. He, ha he wanted to speak a bit uh, about uh, ideas for uh, storing this information, I think. Yes, um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I missed the beginning of the talk, I'm sorry. 
Um, as I mailed to the QA list a bit ago, um, there's actually already some work going on on a very, very similar idea, and I think it's uh, the ideas need to be merged because there are so many parallels in getting one central repository of information. Uh, the, the main primary focus of the, um, the repository was uh, for QA-related data, like Lintian results, um, like rebuild testing, but also, for example, extraction of copyright and changelog. Uh, but all the things that are named here, um, the trend I saw in at the beginning, now it's a bit more elaborate, was user-supplied data. Uh, that was not really provided yet. I haven't thought about that part of it yet. Um, there is already some implementation in the pool structure. Um, there's not yet an interface to actually really extract the data, but there is uh, already interface to add data to a sort of uh, pool structured uh, repository, metadata with all different kinds of information. Uh, which very similarly like this, and uh, I think we should uh, definitely work together on this, of course, because it's uh, enough similar to be at the total waste of time to have two efforts on this. Um, about ideas further, one of the, the things that uh, with respect to fetching the information had been thought of was having a pool structure with for each package all information so if you want a given field from a given package it's a direct uh, lookup uh, it's all file system based and for example the use case of getting all popcorn status um, at one go without actually doing a lots of accesses for each of the package uh, to also have a parallel uh, tree that is based primarily on the item, the fields, and then within the field, the packages, depending on whether it's popcorn or in general something very small, it can be one big text file with one line each package or something, or alternatively it could be uh, one directory with, with a lot of um, files for each package. Um, and yeah, I mean, we should brainstorm for further, I guess, on what exactly uh, we should, um, what exactly to add further. I have at the moment not much more to add, I guess. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, the pro uh, the stuff you mentioned was um, uh, it has been used right now to store uh, build logs for uh, uh, the GCC 41 test. So it's r it was rather big information. Uh, that's why I didn't make the parallel really because, uh, yeah, it's more many small information in my idea for for now. But uh, of course we 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 could merge them. No problem. Like there's nothing here. Only ideas. <laughs> so not much. Le Duplicated yet? Yeah. Uh, as I told in the beginning, uh, we may have a summer of code project working on that, so we were trying to find a good design and gather ideas. Yeah, so that's it. So, well, uh, you you mentioned uh, that you would have two trees, one uh, sorted by package and one by meta information, really. Uh, would they be updated at the same time, or do you think we should generate one from the other? Yeah, the pool tree. Uh, the pool tree is intended to be canonical, to be the, the real source of information, and the other trees are intended for easy extraction of the information. And for example, for um, change log extraction, which was one of the use cases, um, there would be a hard linked um, mirror tree with just the change logs, 
and then for example a service that wants to have all the change logs for example packages.debian.org or whatever different um, service can rsync simply the tree with the current set of change logs of all of uh, unstable or all of the whole uh, mirror okay thank you Yeah, maybe we can just add air sync to. Yeah. Any other ideas following this whole discussion? I think we uh, we have many interesting points already, but I don't know how we, yeah. Uh, sorry, I came in late, but uh, what I'm wondering is uh, some of the things you mentioned up there and that were also mentioned in the description for the talk are uh, things that are currently in uh, in the package itself, like the watch file or the um, the copyright, would this be redundant with that, or is it intended to replace the? Well, I mean, I guess you couldn't replace copyright, but maybe watch file, or how's it expected to work with that? Yeah, as I told at the beginning, uh, we the watch files is not always used, and the maintainers do not always agree to keep them. So uh, it's kind of redundant, but. Uh, we're going to use the existing watch files to to start with, and uh, uh, and hopefully uh, it will be it will become the reference. I think because it just makes more sense for uh, all our QA tools to be able to check if we have the latest version uh, using a single database of reference watch files. I think that definitely not for all fields uh, this should be, uh, diverge from the actual authoritative source in the packages, but the reason to still include it in a repository like this is because of the uh, CPU time required to extract and to make easily accessible things like the watch files, the desktop files that are in the package, um, and um, uh, change logs. Currently, if you want to have all change logs, it takes a lot of I.O. You basically need to read uh, all of the dot depths, and it's easy retrieval. And for some of the fields, at least, uh, not. Um, I don't think it should diverge. I mean, change logs does not have any use for this repository to diverge from it. But for some fields, uh, indeed, of course, um, it is good to that it's um, a really authoritative source of information. For example, as uh, Rafael mentioned, uh, the watch files, because then they can be maintained by QA or by a mixture of the package maintainers and QA. Uh, just a quick note, other metadata that could be added and can enclose some of that is a DOAP description of a package. Uh, DOAP, DOAP, uh, uh, DOAP. Uh, it's an um, XML format to describe package metadata. You can put like description. Um, it it's in, intends to unify like uh, fresh meat and source bars descriptions. You, Uh, it, it, uh, I don't know. Um, ask uh, Ed the Dumbhill. He's the developer. He's the author of that, and he's trying to push that as a kind of uh, XML dialect to actually describe a free software project. Seems to be pretty good, and you can put depth text categories inside it. You can put upstream VCS repositories, on pages, and so on. So I had a uh, couple other comments about 
um, kind of the package related metadata. Uh, just last week, I um, forwarded a proposal that was written by um, Scott Remnant about uh, Dpackage 2.0, and one of the, the features of Dpackage 2.0 is that, um, that that he's kind of pushing for is that it actually is only going to pay attention to a few metadata fields, and and anything above that would be something that that apt or other um, other things like apt would be able to deal with. Um, he's not advocating taking it out of control. It's just that uh, the on-disk package format itself would only know about a little bit of metadata. Um, so there's already kind of a split there. Also, as part of the dpackage 2.0 process, one of the things we've talked about is uh, looking at the control metadata overall and uh, trying to see where it makes sense to do some adjustment because um, one of the things we've noticed is that uh, the RPM um, tools and file formats uh, have their own set of metadata and there are some tags that are are similar. For example, you know, we use maintainer and they use author and these things are um, similar concepts but different names and so there might be some attempt to try and come up with a, a set of metadata that could be common across um, package formats and, and at the same time we would be adding things like, you know, you had um, the copyright and, and license up there. Right now we currently have it in a, in a package file but there's no reason why we couldn't have a metadata field that um, was what, you know, a, a, a was a license string um, and also a metadata field that was the copyright string. So the other problem you have is you don't want to grow the packages files. You know, we already have a problem with the packages files being too big and the new uh, diff index stuff is, is helping that, I think. But um, to some extent, we need a solution um, that's going to allow dpackage an app to not have to um, download these huge packages files. And so maybe um, there can be some sort of reasonable split where um, this takes over for a lot of it and, and dpackage doesn't have to deal with it as much anymore. Yes, it's long-term work, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you're right. There's certainly some of them which makes sense to be integrated in the package itself, but most of them shouldn't really because uh, maintainers don't care about providing them and it's more uh, stuff that should be managed outside, but yeah, it's a good remark anyway. You want it? Thanks. Um, Enrico mentioned description of a project, um, the OAP. Um, I would just wanted to um, say that it's not actually XML format, it's an RDF format. So um, are you people in general, uh, do you know what uh, RDF is? It's the resource description framework, um, the standard of the World Wide Web Consortium for uh, general metadata and I think uh, we could think of using that for the implementation if we really want a general purpose metadata repository that will be extensible. It's been thought out so the model of it that it will be extensible for for lots of stuff. For example, if we want to have, um, if you're talking about something like the control file which has uh, fields and, and values but RDF has also um, the subject. So for instance, if you want to have um, for each screenshot a comment, not only for each project a uh, screenshot, then you will want to have a possibility to say that this screenshot has the comment, which is this one. So RDF would be a standard that ensures that this kind of information can be included. And you could also use this to they have, uh, there are already tools for querying these and uh, joining several repositories or sources of data. That kind of stuff. Okay, thank you. Tolima just told me that we're out of time already, so I'd like to thank you for all your feedback, uh, and I hope we can manage to do something good uh, this year still. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thank you all. <laughs>